How's it, Grant here? Welcome back to the channel. And today I've got the TCL 10 Pro. It's on the latest update that came out a little while ago. I think it's the May monthly update. And they had said they had made some camera improvements. So they didn't really say what was improved on the cameras. So I thought I would just come out and take a bunch of photos and videos and let you see them. And you be the judge. What do you think about the photos and videos now after this latest update? Do you think they look good? I believe they were a little bit oversaturated at first. So all this can be shot in full auto with AI mode on because that's how it comes by default out of the box. And so take a look at the photos and videos and let me know what you think. So here's a quick video test of the TCL 10 Pro. This is 1080p 30 frames per second. And the standard lens, it can record up to 4K 30. I don't see any 60 frame per second options here. So this is in the late afternoon, early evening. We zoom over to the cell tower two times zoom there. And this has a 10 times digital. So that's what that looks like. And back it all the way out. And try some autofocus here on the post. And not the brightest light, but you can see autofocus is still really nice and snappy with this TCL 10 Pro. And the other thing to note is that you can't switch between the lenses, so I can't switch to the ultra wide angle. Once you start recording, you have to stick to that lens. And we'll do some stabilization as I walk down the stairs. But uh, let me know what you think about this footage here. And I'll move it up into the sun so you can kind of see how it handles that changing light. Okay, so here's a quick clip in ultra wide angle mode, still 1080p, 30 frames per second, but you should see a lot more in the field of view here. Pan over. And actually I don't see any kind of zoom options really in this ultra wide angle mode, but we can test out stabilization. And pay attention to the uh, colors and lighting. Ultra wide angle cameras don't tend to do as well, even in slightly dimly lit situations. But this is the ultra wide angle lens in 1080p. Okay, so this is the same scene at 4K, 30 frames per second, the max resolution this can record in. There is a five minute time limit here in 4K. So as I pan over, test the zoom here, 
two times zoom and you still have a 10 times digital in 4k and that's what that looks like back it out test some autofocus still nice and snappy on the post so that's one thing autofocus here taking photos and videos on the 10 pro has been very good so we'll test out stabilization in 4k And one last pan around the park here. Okay, so here we are with the ultra wide angle lens at 4K. I don't see any time restrictions here, at least not in the viewfinder, but still no zoom options. But you can see how much you can fit into that field of view. And we'll do a quick stabilization here of the ultra wide angle camera in 4K. And one last pan up into that sun. Okay, so here is some low light video from the TCL 10 Pro. This is with the main wide angle camera, not the ultra wide. And it automatically turns on this low light mode. So everything's a little bit enhanced and a little bit brighter. There's a bit of more noise in that sky, but it definitely brightens up the image. You can see it does not handle the lights too well. Definitely a lot of flaring coming out from the uh, camera here. I know those are tough lights, but other cameras are able to handle them better. But you know, considering the price of this phone, I don't think it's doing too bad and it does have an auto night mode that, or low light mode that kicks in here so that's pretty good. You can see it here again into some really harsh lighting conditions and I do have a mask on because of the situation we're in so if it sounds a little muffled that's probably why there are people walking around out here so always better be safe than sorry. But you can see with this low light mode here this is going into a really dark situation and it is keeping everything very visible so this low light mode while it does introduce a lot of noise into that sky it's actually doing a really good job of illuminating everything so when you get into some really dark situation at least you can see what you're filming because I'll tell you this is way darker than this looks here at least on the viewfinder so low light mode here on the 10 Pro can at least help you shoot and see your subjects without having to use any kind of flash or anything to distort the photo or the video. So there you go, 1080p from the TCL 10 Pro. Okay, so here we are at 4K, 30 frames per second. There is no low light mode, so you can see the night sky is a little bit darker. It's not as noisy. And pan over, it still has some of those lens flares. Not as bad as at 1080p with that low light mode. You can pan over here to this really bright light in front of me. And of course, that's gonna be pretty tough. But here as we move into this darker light, you'll see how dark it really was compared to that 1080p low light mode footage. So there is no low light mode if you want to shoot at 4K. And this is really how dark it looks. And so compare that to that low light mode 1080p footage. And it was doing an amazing job in brightening everything up so you can actually see what's out here and what you're filming. But this is really what it looks like here at 4K. It is this dark. So if you want true to life scene, that's what this is. It's just when you go to really dark situations like this, you won't be able to really see what you're filming. So again, 4K, no low light mode. If you want to shoot in extreme low light, switch to 1080p and that low light mode will kick in.
right, so that is the camera test of the TCL 10 Pro after the latest update. And I'm not really sure what they improved in the cameras, but hopefully you got to see all the photos and videos in both good and low light situations. So you can kind of judge for yourself if you think the cameras have either been improved or you're just liking what you're seeing from the quality. And so let me know in the comment section below what you think about the photos and videos here after the update on the TCL 10 Pro. Any other questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. I'll try to answer as much as I can. And as always, thanks for watching.